Well, the spring of 1910 was mild and wet with heavy snow in the mountains. Valleys were plugged as were the tracks going through them. In mid-March, disaster struck near Revelstoke. Bruce Kirkpatrick has a look at This Week in History. In eastern B.C., the Canadian Pacific Railway tracks through the Selkirk Mountains. On March 3, 1910, a slide roared down on Bear Creek near Rogers Pass. CP rail crews were out clearing the snow the next day. Another avalanche hit. It was a half mile wide. It swept down the mountain. No one had a chance of surviving uh, among the crew, and it picked up a steam locomotive and carried it up the hillside on the other side and deposited it on the roof of a snow shed. 58 died that March 4th, 1910 in the slide near Revelstoke. The tragedy was recorded in a letter now at the Royal BC Museum. It's written by the only survivor of the avalanche. Roadmaster John Anderson had been with the track clearing crew at Shed 17 when he left to go to deliver a message to the watch shack down the track. Left his brother behind and when he came back there was dead silence in the valley nothing in sight. 58 men disappeared and the train. Everything was in darkness and the wind was blowing hard. After losing his brother and workers Anderson was responsible for, he decided he can't do this work anymore. He never wants to be in the situation where he would lose men the way he had. He would lost his personal brother and he'd been going to funerals every day. It was a terrible spring in March of 1910. Heavy wet snow as much as 30 meters deep in the mountains. There had been an avalanche in the Cascades in Washington State and an entire passenger train with 81 passengers had been wiped out. While they were reporting that story in the local papers, the Telegraph brought the news from Revelstoke of the disaster there. So we have this photo album from Revelstoke of the people who worked clearing it. The album shows pictures of old rotary railway plows dating back to 1889. It was conditions like this John Anderson's crew faced on steep white sides in B.C. Selkirks, slide after slide after slide. The main passenger train, number 97, was trapped for four days with the conductor trying to keep up the spirits of the passengers, knowing that they were trapped already between two avalanches and that everybody working to make a passage for them in front had been killed. A track-clearing crew died on a railway track in eastern British Columbia 113 years ago this week in history. This Week in History, brought to you by the Royal BC Museum, bringing British Columbia's stories together.